Versus Yano Toru. That was a um, great match. That that was a great it match. It had a great start with Toru cheating, but, but he had like five or six rolls of tape in his tights. <laughs> yes, he did. I, I haven't seen any comments uh, from day 17. Um, T. Jones hadn't commented. Not not that I've seen anything. He might have things to do. You know, I'm 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 a, I'm a check though. But we you know we'll no. Why do I hit the wrong? Th I'm tired. That's what it is. I'm tired. Don't be tired. Be careful. We're gonna, we're gonna try to watch the finals after we do this one. After we do this. But uh, man, this thing probably takes forever, man. No. It's like everything feels glassy. Look, got this. I got sand particles over my eyes and whatnot. Sounds like you're sleepy. I am sleepy. Shit. What? <laughs> Why are you talking <laughs> shit? I'm just trying. I'm just trying to make it. You're just trying to make just... it. Yes. What? What in the world? Oh. My poor eyes. No, day seventeen don't have any views. Okay. So. We're just gonna go with this then. Uh, so yeah, Jeff Cobb and y'all. It was a short match. Yeah, y'all he, he, he tried to cheat, but he got caught. He took his shirt off in the head, but they they saw the tape. I mean, that was so obvious. Mm -hmm. And then he trapped him in his singlet. <laughs> Cobb was trapped. Cobb was trapped. He was trapped. <laughs> he was mad too. He got. <laughs> you know, it was a five minute match, but it was it was always entertaining. Like <laughs> y'all know. <laughs> Y Yano's just entertaining. Mm -hmm. Very entertaining. He got a nice belly to back on uh, Jeff Cobb. It looked good. No, no, belly to belly, to belly suplex. That, yeah, off that, that, that rope one. That rebound belly to belly suplex. Uh, he, he, he did good. You know, I like Yano. You know, who don't? Mm -hmm. Cobb, he, look, he looking better. Mm -hmm. you I'm know? sure he was happy to get a tame match. Yes. <laughs> Physically look, tame match. Gachi Mucha... Gachimuchi moonsault. That Gachimuchi is 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 is, is, is a it's a combination of words. Basically, it just means um, large but fit. You know, like you like you see them uh, in cartoons. The dudes that are like big bellies, they're huge, but their arms are kind of muscular looking and stuff. Usually, they're ripped. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> long as usually ripped. Yeah, that's all that means. You know, he's big but he's ripped. You know, it's it's that that weirdness, you know? Like a little big man, you know? He's a <laughs> big, big man? He's a big, big man. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Cobb, you know? <laughs> you know, shoot, he ain't just shucking now. He ain't just shucking. <laughs> you know, so I'm just saying. <laughs> so then we got uh, Tai Chi versus um, Ishii Tomoyo, and that was a surprise because Tai Chi wrestled the entire match. No he cheating. He didn't bullshit. He didn't walk around the ring looking douche facey. He didn't cheat. I applaud him. He didn't him. throw his girl in the way. He didn't do none of that I shit. Apl I applaud him. I was like, I like, and, and I said it. I said, I like G1 Tai Chi. And then Cedric gives her little, you know, duck face thing. That mm-hmm thing. And I'm sitting here like, and, I, and you know, and I, I wanted to goad her a little bit, but I was like, nope. I'm gonna be honest with it, and I was like, you know what? Truth is, I can't. I don't know how he's gonna be after G1, so I have to say I like G1 style Tai Chi. I can say he performed well during this match. I can't say shit about G1 style. Mm -hmm. he, as the G1 went on, he progressively got better. You yeah. should be better when the G1 starts. But did you know that's his theme? Because he had to work through the G1. He had ten match, well, nine matches to. 
make sure that he got up there like to show what he's going to transition into. I'm hoping that's what this is. Because they use the G1 to show how people get better. Just like Goto Hiroki. They showed how he came in. His first match, okay. It was a different style of Goto. But it's like, what are we going to really see? Then you see him, you know, in that main event. And it's like, oh, wow. This dude is epic. You know, he's this is a change. And then you get to see through the G1 how he's going to use that this new variation of himself. Okay. You get to see that. We so will see we happens. will see what happens with Tai Chi. And just know his girl cried like he won the fucking Olympics. She was in tears. He gave her a hug gave and her a kiss. A hug and didn't throw nothing in her face. He broke character. <laughs> tai Chi broke character for her. Because I think Tai Chi was even, Tai Chi was actually breathing heavy. He was actually tired. I've he never put seen forth him. some effort. Yeah. He did well. You know, I applaud this Tai Chi. This Tai Chi. I don't I ain't, you know, I don't know what's going to be, you know, after this. But G1 style Tai Chi, his last 2 days, good Tai Chi. I like that Tai Chi. And if, it might not be G1 Tai Chi, it just might be Tai Chi versus Ishii. <laughs> you want to get decimated, you need to come with it and he did. I'm, I like this. I'm glad he did this. You know, and he got the win. Yep. He got the win. So, yeah, good job. So, now we got X versus Juice Robinson. That, Which that, was... That was a... That was a... a that match... That was, was a shit match. That was a stupid match. What, Juice deserves better. What it did was allow Juice... To show that he wasn't gonna fuck up like he did when he wrestled him the first time, yeah, which he didn't. He didn't get lured into X's type of match with chairs and shit. He was the bigger person, and then he almost got choked out, and then X basically dumbed himself out of the match. I'm gonna stop actually wrestling and throw a tantrum and throw shit in the ring. Let me tell you something, X. You dumbed yourself out of the victory. You dumbed yourself out of it. Okay, now look, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here, all right? The dumbest thing that can happen is what they did during X versus Juice Robinson's match. Now, X did earn his first name a couple of bouts ago. Then he earned his last name, and he done lost both. Now he's just X. All right, Red Shoes, Juice, and X are in on this shit. So is Ghetto. This was really damn stupid. Mm -hmm. When you are in a competitive event and someone is knocked out, that means the match is over. All right? When that person has expressed that they cannot go on, the match is over. Why? Because you do not need a long-lasting injury, permanent injury, or life-threatening injury to happen to that person. That is the point. So when he put him in that STF, and it was a beautiful Luthez-style STF, all right? When he went, when X put Juice in that, I was like, he got that on. That looks good. Juice, he did the whole pass-out thing. Ref checked him and checked him. When Juice was unresponsive for 10 seconds, the match should have been called. In a true competitive match, it would have been called quickly. Yeah, that shit lasted way too long. He kept checking, kept checking, he kept in checking. The in the mat, on the mat dead, he's still checking. Yes, he was in it long enough to, in truth, he would have been dead. The air would have been taken away from his brain just a little bit too long. His throat or something should have been, his carotid artery should have been all jacked up, going on a legitimate move. You know, that's what they're trying to express, that it was a legitimate move and he just could not breathe or whatatnot. The match should be called. Then the ref checks his arm. I mean, after what, 30-some seconds, the check his arm, one, check it again, two. I mean, after the first check, he should have been out. That arm dropped like a stone. He was already out. He was unresponsive in real life. And people have gone through this. When you are with a, a loved one and that person is, is unresponsive. You call an that, ambulance. 
it, yes, you are scared <laughs> out of your mind. That just might be it. So when you do something like this in wrestling, you got to take that factor of people like that might be watching you, all right, and then shaking their heads in disgust that, no, nah, that ain't how it should be. Because that's almost where I was. I did not like that match. You know, Juice got the win, yay. X got the weapons and stuff, or try, kept trying to, so boo. Juice deserves better than that. He shouldn't have done that match. Not that way. That's just the way that that, that is in my book. All right, my rant's over. Okay. Now, next match, Takagi, which I misspelled, Takagi Shingo versus Goto Hiroki. That was a good match. I got to correct his name. Take two bulls and tell them to go at till the horns fall off. That's what they did. I I thought that match was so damn good. Mm. I was like, man, they they gonna do the damn thing. They did the damn thing. They did it. Oh, cool! It's gonna automatically do it itself. I like this. I like that. It's gonna just keep on going. Oh, okay. That means I ain't got to. Yeah, they ain't got to do nothing. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Takagi Shingo, Goto Hiroki, like you just said, two bulls going at it. They did their thing, and it got to the, you know it was going back and forth. It was a, it was it got to a four star match, you know, within ten minutes. It was quick. They did great. Mm-hmm. They fed off each other. They worked with each other. It didn't look like they helped each other at all. They was like, bring it. Mm-hmm. They stiff armed each other so many times, mm-hmm. and then and then CJ has said they ain't even started head button yet, and I'm nope. like, oh they crap! Were about Fifteen minutes in, yeah. they had to start laying the head. They had to start head, but I was like, man, now see, I thought Tai Chi and Ishii might have, you know, Tomohiro and and I thought they might have stayed stolen the, 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 the night, but then Takagi always show. Up. He should, he didn't really show up, so no, he no, nah, he didn't show he, up. but he showed up enough, enough, but enough. He wasn't full blown Ishii, no. Nah. But Takagi and Goto, they both showed up, and it was awesome. Yep, they showed up, but not even thoroughly showed up. They get they showed up about I'm gonna say about eighty five percent. It was a solid four. I was giving four point seven. I don't even know what it is when Goto show up a hundred percent yet. I, that yeah. that main event that was his, that was it. I saw that he didn't do all of that. It's close what he did tonight uh, that we watched day eighteen. But Takagi didn't go all out like we did when he wrestled nope. show. No. Nope. No. <laughs> or Ishii. Or Ishii. But it was close. Or Naito. Or Naito, but it was, but close. It was, it was close. close. That's what I'm saying. Four point seven stars. I could give it. You know, and that's just because I like them that much. In truth, I would really give it 4.3. Really, that's about where I would give it. 4.3. It's damn sure a solid 4, so that's why it's going up in a little point here. But, um, you know, Takagi wins with Last of the Dragon. Mm-hmm. And he dropped him on his shit. He dropped him all on his dome. He loosened his noodle. <laughs> he messed him up. And that was good. And like he had some choice words for him afterwards, but it didn't look like he was mean, Mm-mm. you know. Um, and so Takagi wins, and you know, good job. Then we get to the main event: Jay White versus Naito Tetsuya. And uh, I'm gonna tell you, he came to the ring. Naito does, and he's just smiling. I said he's gonna lose this match. He was smiling. He didn't do his stop and blink thing. He didn't do that. No, he was smiling. He gave the same. He gave the same smile to Jay White that he did to Okada last year after he lost. Mm. He gave this or two years ago. He was one of them when he when he lost that match. He gave him the same smile. I was like, he gonna lose. It was a good match. It was. They good. were both working to the head and necks and. Being methodical, the way they both are, they're both great wrestlers, they're both smart wrestlers, they're both heels, although Jay White's a super heel. It was a good match. It wasn't like great, but it was a good match. Yeah, it was a good match. It, I, I would, I can't give it higher than four stars. I can't even give it four point three. I really can't. I, I, I just can't. You know, the, the match was good, but it was missing 
certain flair that they give. It's a certain energy that they would give off. I wasn't feeling it. I didn't see it. And I was searching. And you no, know, I wasn't going on the fact that I know Naito was going to lose. No, I didn't go with that. I, I don't. Even if, if I don't care if that wrestler came to me and said, "Hey, man, they slated me to lose tonight," I'd be like, "All right, go ahead and have a good match." And I, and I, you know, it came close to doing that in real life. <laughs> so I don't care if I know who's going to win or lose. I want to see the story of it. So I want to see that match. And I just can't. I can't give this match any higher than four stars. They. They did a lot. They did a good job. It's just it was missing some a lot of flair that they would normally give it. So that's about it. And and then the at the match end, you know, she was like, "Oh, let's get to this." I'm like, "No, I want to hear Jay White talk his shit." He was talking shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like get that piece of shit out of here. I'm like, man. See if Nacho came back and popped you or not? Because I don't think Nacho spit on him the whole time. He spit on him. Oh, he got he him. He had him okay. trapped. Oh yeah, that leg, that leg, that leg, that leg lace cru uh, crucifix. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, he couldn't. He had to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I thought that match was good for what it was, but then after he's talking that shit and all this, then he calls out Ibushi, Ibushi. Kota, and I'm like, is he really gonna come out? And Ibushi come out with that same look he that had same looking at cold Okada. Ass smirk he had when he was looking at Okada. I'm like, something ain't right with this. Mm -hmm. Like, let's see what go on. Mm -hmm. And you know, doing the handshake. <sighs> he holding that hand too long. He tried to get him, but Kota got away. Yep. And then she was like, he's got a great mastery over his body. He's very aware of his body. Everything he does is very fluid and graceful, even when it's quick. Yep. And a lot of people might say, what do you mean? It's his damn body. Of course, he got control over No, no, no there no, are people no, that do stuff, and they do not. Like, if they, if, if some amateur tried to throw a spinning back fist really hard and snap it off, the truth is, they're not going to step right. They're not going to turn properly. And if they did swing it, they're going to swing, and it's going to be a little while. Somebody that has mastery over their body, they know how to pivot and turn and snap a back fist off and not overswing and yet give absolute perfect power to it without so much that they go swinging wild if they miss there is a big difference the difference in someone using wielding a great a katana and they do demonstrations cutting open melons someone that can cut a melon open all the way through and then crack the table a bit and someone can cut that melon and not even touch the table there is a difference in mastery over your own body it takes practice, it takes skill, and it takes a wisdom of yourself and how you are actually reacting in your environment. So he's got a great mastery over his body. So it's little things like that to take notice of. And Kota Ibushi's got it. Now, Cedra made a prediction. At one, uh, what was your prediction for the finals? Oh, Kota's going to win. Now, this is after he his his ankle yeah, and his the, shin got monkey got stomped. monkey stomped. Mm-hmm. He's going to win. And usually, truthfully, traditionally, that's how it go. When the heel jumps the hell out of the face, the face wins the next event. It's to make the face, you know, give sympathy to the face, give the face a great disadvantage, to give more emotion to the match, to have more build up. The face goes over. So we'll see if I'm right. Whew. I'm sleepy. I'm going to hang in there, though. Yeah, we got one more match. We got one match. It's probably going to be about an hour long. I thought it was going to be that long. The longer we long. talk, the longer it's going to take to get it Wrap started. It so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for G1 Climax 29, uh, uh, G1 Climax 29, day 18, this is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning, and CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Rose, CR Wrestling Commentary, and Cedra Owens. For the, of the Wicked Orchard, we can catch her on YouTube and on Medium. Saying thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And hey, comment on Big Cardinal Wrestling. It's something I'm going to start doing uh, in uh, a couple of months or so. I'm going to get that started. And, uh, you know, let me know what you're thinking about. Oh, my God, the referee's down. He's down. I'm not, you know, just, oh, my ref. He's bleeding. He's probably bleeding.
Oh, man. We'll conclude this. Uh, I'm going to pause this and conclude it when we do the review of, of everything else. So um, I think it says I can't pause it. I think that's what it says. Nope, I can pause it. All right. Bye-bye.